we do fairly often in the operating room is skin stapling. Uh, it seems like it's a fairly simple thing to do, but what I would tell you is approximation of the skin is key. Uh, oftentimes, I'll use either one or two pickups to position the skin properly, everting it, bringing it together, and then taking a stapling device similar to the one that comes with your kit. Uh, simply center the device on the skin, staple it down. It literally will grab the edges and then turn them in, which helps to evert their edges, which again is very helpful. So uh, stapling is nice because it's fast and will turn the edges out. So here I'm approximating the skin, everting it, getting it close together so that the skin edges are touching and then placing uh, the stapler. And you don't need necessarily to push down very hard. I think it's very controlled motion is key that when you're stapling, the end of the stapler is not really moving at all. Try to grab it near the end of the stapler. You'll have more sort of torque advantage. And again, just like simple sutures, you have to decide how many staples you need and each wound, what each wound needs for approximation. In a case like this, if this were a complex wound, we have multiple layers of closure. A staple might be nice because I'm going to leave these staples in for a few weeks. And generally, where sutures can get infected, metal uh, staples do not. Well, how do we take these out? This is a, a staple remover. Um, basically, it'll grab the staple, which has turned its edges in to, to approximate, and will open the edges of the staple, and then it'll straighten them so they pull right out. And so here you see as you push down on the staple remover, it unbends those ends of the staple, it aligns them, so now they become straight, and then this, the uh, staple will literally simply lift out of the wound, very simply. So we push down, spreads it, and as it straightens it, it just pops straight up. Uh, if you don't have a staple remover, you can also use a needle driver or a clamp and place it under the staple and just spread, and basically spreading is doing the same thing. It's, it's straightening out. This is much less painful for your patient, though, if you can use one of these devices because, as I said, it straightens everything out and, and simply pulls out and there's no pulling. Sometimes if the, uh, the bending apparatus doesn't really straighten them completely, you can just, as you're stapling, rock it gently. And here's an example with just a needle driver where literally you just spread, so you're trying to open those tines, and as it does, it'll come out. If you're going to do this, it's usually better to do this on a patient who's asleep because it can hurt uh, to remove staples this way. And again, sometimes you do need to kind of rock from side to side if, just in case one side is not completely open. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you certainly have learned a lot about suturing. If you want to learn more about this suture pad or get your own VATA 3500, click the link below.